Hey, what's up guys? Vigiri here. Now for this video, it's going to be a long-awaited, often requested, incessantly asked for add-ons update. So we've been having a very nice, relaxing vacation over the holidays. And I thought, well, you guys have been so kind and so patient uh, with us, you know, taking some time to chill and uh, not doing as much streaming. I said, well, what can I do for my viewers to make up for how awesome they are and letting us take some time off to rest and recuperate after our uh, very successful but eventful and energy requiring and focus requiring competition season and it's a big year of IRL and streaming what better way to thank you guys than with an add-ons video so here we go I'm gonna try to make this quick because maybe we'll make more in the future but uh, uh, not really a whole lot has changed with my add-ons there are some small things people uh, fairly consistently ask for, and I'm not going to go through and show every single setting of every single add-on, but I will try to go through the basics, let you guys know what I'm using, and then that way you guys can download the add-on for yourself and sort of tinker around with it and set it up to your specifications. But basically the way this is going to work is I'm going to go open up the add-ons button, and we're going to start off right from the top. So advanced interface options, what that does for you is it gives you some advanced interface options. Now these are probably things that used to be in the game as it was, or in general. I don't know how this got changed. This is about, usually put that around 200. Um, and uh, I think these things used to be in the game, but then if they were taken out, now you can have advanced interface options to play around with them. So nothing too crazy. I don't even remember why I have this besides some of the stuff. And then of course you can go through like this sort of thing and change all kinds of crazy stuff. I don't mess with this, but there's a lot of small little things that you can tinker around with if you want to that would give you advanced interface options, right? And of course, a lot of these things will have been changed by the fact that I probably have used other add-ons to like change the position of my uh, bars or like my XP bar is probably not on right so that instead it's artifact and AP so little things like that you can go through there and change that that's what that does um, auctionator is just my general auction house add-on sometimes I use this sometimes I don't I don't really use the auction house all that much but like when I want to post an item and see how much it generally sells for auctionator will, will allow me to do that instead of manually searching and doing things like that um, bag brother is I think something that has to do with Bagnon, I, we can go ahead and turn that on, why not? Uh, Bagnon is the add-on that combines all my bags into this one big bag, which I think is kind of nice. I, I like having one big bag, I just think that I like the way that looks. And then of course this is just associated with this add-on. Uh, the Guild Bank and Void Storage, we can probably put this up there too, uh, but I don't really care. Uh, bank Stack was an add-on that used to be required to actually automatically sort items, but now you can do that with that was just sort of incorporated into WoW's UI. I think it's pretty interesting how sometimes that they'll take some like especially useful or popular add-ons and just sort of incorporate it into what they do anyway, which is kind of cool. Uh, bartender, that's what I use to set up my bars this way. Uh, I like I like it because I can sort of change where they are. I can do custom key bindings. I think it's really easy. There are other add-ons like it. I believe Dominoes is another one of those add-ons or Bongos or something like that. There's all kinds of add-ons, but I've always just used Bartender and that works fine for me. Um, details is the uh, the like kind of meters add-on that I use. You can use Scada, you can use Recount. There's other ones like it, but I just have used Details, especially because it shows the uh, the damage that uh, that your enemies do in a. Uh... That's cool. I didn't know that showed you talents like that. That's neat. Uh, <laughs> There's a lot of cool stuff apparently, uh, but it also shows the like the damage your enemies do in PGs and Arena. Uh, details. Th this is just kind of associate. A lot of these are just associated with it. Um, Gladius, this is the add-on that you'll see in the bottom uh, right-hand corner of my screen when I'm doing Arena that shows the different uh, enemies in Arena and the DRs of certain CCs. It's nice to make sure that you're not stunning a target, you know, for one second instead of waiting three more seconds to stun it for a full 30 seconds. If that, or, <laughs> Wow. To stun it for a full three seconds, something like that, right? Um, that just makes things a lot easier to avoid overlap and just sort of track things in Arena. Uh, Gladius EX is an add-on that look that was kind of like it. There's a lot of add-ons that I that I'm not currently using that I've downloaded. Um, you can check them out if you want to, but I'm not really going to go into them too much. Uh, mix scrolling battle text. That's what I have configured to. Uh, you can you can have it to show all the stuff that's going on, like buffs and damage taken, damage dealt. I don't use it for that. I basically just have it custom configured to 
announce when I get a killing blow and announce when I pummel something. So I said I wasn't going to go into super ultimate detail on this, but I feel like I can uh, fairly quickly go into mixed scrolling battle text and maybe show you how I've done that. It's been a long time, so bear with me. But I'm fairly certain that um, how this works is that I've been you're able to configure a scroll area just for this, and then um, in order to you in order to sort of add this to a scroll area, you have to go to either a trigger or an event. So I have, this is a killing blow. This is a, a reflector interrupt, and I think that you go down to I think it's an event. I think it's been a while, right? So let me see if I can find it somewhere hopefully that's how it works it's either a trigger or an event where you would get like a killing blow and i know i've made a video about this before so here's a reflect and interrupt and i've been able to sort of put these two events in the scroll area of interrupts and reflects and uh, that's how that works so let me actually just see if i can do it like this so i have i have all these different things sort of configured to go different places and you know this is a, this is an this is something that i've sort of configured a while ago and have not messed with so, you, I definitely know that you can figure this out. <laughs> I believe you, and I've, I've probably even made um, videos about this sort of thing before, like a long time ago. I know I've made a video about how to set my mix scrolling battle text, but it has something to do with uh, piddling around in here, finding, um, let's see, finding either, you know, the killing blow, here we go. So you go to NPC or player killing blows, and you can sort of, you know, say what it looks like and then you then he's tell it where to announce it. So if you go in there and tinker around with it and look at a past video, it's not super complex. I just, you know, don't want to go into the absolute specifics of it. One, because it's going to take like a little bit more time than I want to take. And two, because I don't remember how to, you know, clearly tell you how to do it, <laughs> but I know it's not that difficult. You just got to find the right notification, change it to say whatever you want it to say, tell it where to go, configure your scroll area so it pops up on the screen where you want it to go. And it's fairly simple, but with all these add-ons, just take your time, you know, I know that you like might like the way that I have it set up. I promise you can set up the way I have it set up, but just take your time and learn how to set it up in general so you can make it look the way I want to or or the, the way I have it. Or if, it, if you don't want to have it the way I have it, then you can create some other unique setup of your add-ons. But this is what I'm using and those are the basics, right? Uh, nice damage is just the, the way that I have my numbers look whenever you see a number pop up my screen when I'm dealing damage. That's nice damage. That's configuring the font. Omnibar is the add-on that shows all of my, well, not all of them, but a lot of uh, defensive and offensive cooldowns, like, you know, and, and abilities. Um, on the top of my screen, I have that set up for Arena. A lot of people have it set up in the middle of their screen. I just have my nameplates there, my, my little unit frames there, so I don't have it there in the middle. But that's useful for tracking interrupts if you're a, a, a caster. Uh, if you are, um, you know, just in Arena and you want to see when somebody pops an offensive or defensive cooldown, you can be like, okay, that's, that's the cooldown on Ice Block. You, you can see that on your thing. Um, and uh, the rest of the add-ons, so we have Quartz here, which is um, just like a cast bar add-on. That's just, if you want to make your cast bars like the way I have them, that's that's what's doing that. Sell Junk, that's always nice just for going to a vendor and clicking Sell Junk. It sells all the grays in your inventory. Not not essential, but definitely very, very nice. I think that's like one of my favorite things about it. I bet WoW put something like this in there eventually. Uh, talent Set Manager, that, that, that's where you look at me opening my talents and you see I have different ones like charge heal mobility death wish PvE fury things like that I like to have the the talent set so I can just kind of click around and set them up the way I want to that's just kind of convenient I like that uh, this, this is probably like the most uh, asked about thing that the two add-ons that are most asked about so my my little name plates like this this is threat plates okay I've used tidy plates in the past I think tidy plates uh, can work now it's called like tidy plates improved or tidy plates continued you can use that i just happen to be using threat plates right now this is probably like the most asked about thing besides how to configure mixed scrolling battle text which i've made a video about i try to give you guys like a basic idea of how to do it not not very cleanly but give you like a general idea right here but this is other than one of those things people ask for all the time is uh it's called threat plates just it's easy to configure i haven't really spent a whole lot of time doing it but it's not too hard to set up I really haven't messed with it very much at all. All I've done is make it basically spotlight on target, just like I did with tidy plates. Spotlight on target, and whenever you're, and then you know your spotlighted thing or whenever you're clicking on it, is uh, it'll be just be a little bit bigger than when it's not uh, selected. That's really all I've done. And then I'm using like you know, class colored name plates and showing debuffs and stuff like that. But once again, you guys are smart. I know you. You're subscribed to my channel, so you got you got to have some brains to you, right? Of course, if you're watching watching this channel. 
You guys got got big, big, useful brains, and I believe in you that you can definitely take some time, be patient, and explore these add-ons and configure the settings to the way that you want them as well. Uh, the, the the second one that has been asked about the most is my unit frames right here. These are called unit frames improved. Uh, they're kind of have they still have that kind of that classic you know just normal WoW style, uh, but it, I like that it has a nice thick nameplate or nice thick health plate right here. That's not cut up by your name in the middle, and it has your class colored um, sort of bar on there too. I just like the way it looks, um, and I also you can scale this. I think I've scaled it to like 1.25, I believe. Um, so that's how you get it that way. You can also change things uh, in the scaling of it by using an add-on called Move Anything, which I think I have. Um, but that those are the big two right there: threat plates and unit frames improved. Those are the ones that get asked about the most. Uh, weak auras. I use weak auras for showing like buffs on my character. Whenever you see a little buff pop up like right here. Uh, that's a weak aura that's doing that, like my Enrage or my uh, Overpowers. Those are weak auras that I have set up. And once again, I've used weak auras for about two seconds and figured out how to set up some weak aura stuff. So it's not very complex. You definitely can get the job done. I believe in you. Uh, I don't have World Quest Tracker or anything like that. I mean, I have the add-on, but I'm not really using it anymore. World Quest List just kind of helps show you the World Quests that are on your map and kind of condense them, show the rewards. You know, if you wanted to sort by, okay, what is going to give me artifact power in this zone? And then you can sort by that. I, I just find it kind of helpful for that De deadly boss mods just a normal pve add-on i don't do a ton of pve but it is nice when you're going into a raid when you have no idea what's going on it's like uh big mechanic coming move out of the way you're like okay great uh, now i can just sort of you know absentmindedly perform these mechanics and be fine and not wipe the raid and just do, you know get your loot and that's applies to all these as well so that runs you through my add-ons fairly hopefully fairly briefly hopefully you guys have a better understanding of what I use and you know how it's set up very, very basically. Once again, these add-ons, uh, the custom configurations are not very hard to find out how to use. Like for example, I mean, all, all I did to put my frames here, just right click move frame and just pull these down and scale them up the way I want it to. Um, for my, uh, you know, my threat plates, once again, I'm just going into the threat plate settings and saying highlight by my target. My target in terms of the, you know, what happens when I highlight it, I want it to be, 150, you know, percent bigger or whatever. Um, and in terms of, I think another question is how I got nice damage to work. I have no idea, honestly. I downloaded it a long time ago, <laughs> and it just works. A lot of my add-ons I get and I keep updated through um, the Twitch app. That just makes it really, really easy. That's you know, Twitch acquired the Curse app, so that's how I keep my add-ons up to date. Pretty simple stuff. Uh, but my UI is not very complicated. Uh, but hopefully these add-ons help you guys out. You know, once again, bartender, the, the basics that you're always seeing are threat plates, bartender, unit frames improved, and mixed scrolling battle text for the uh, killing blow announcement and the interrupt announcement, that sort of thing. So hopefully that helps you guys out. Hopefully, you know, this gets you guys started in terms of building UI that is something that you like. You know, whether or not you want to use a UI setup the way that I have it with unit frames improved and all this bartender stuff the way, you know, laid out the way I have it. If you like that, fantastic. I'm glad to hear that. I'm glad that you guys like watching the videos with it. But um, if you guys want to set up a UI that's completely different but uses very similar add-ons, go for it. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I know you've been asking for this add-ons video for a long time. Thank you for your patience on that one. And I hope you guys continue to enjoy the videos because we've got plenty more coming. All right, guys. That's all for the add-ons video. We'll see you guys next time. Peace.